going on, everybody? Welcome to the U8 Live Break and Break Schedule for 8 7 August 7, 2020. Excited to be back here in the break room with you guys. I know we had some fun last night with Logan, did a whole bunch of boxes. Excited about that. Thank you, Logan, for bringing the show last night. We got to appreciate everybody for jumping in into tonight's pre fills as well. We've got some straight cash, homie, platinum boxes. We have got some complete NFL boxes, Hall of Fame boxes, some jerseys. And some loaded dice full-size helmets for you guys tonight. A little bit of everything. A lot of full-size helmets, you know, with the loaded dice. You've got three helmets per case, one headliner per case. So a little bit of a, of a big-time risk there, big-time payoff. You hit that headliner in every single case. So the first thing that we've got on the plate for tonight is a straight cash homie. The Platinum Helmet Series. What's up, Kyle? What's up, Kyle? Kyle, watch that music video? I did. Twice. Three times, maybe. Who's counting, though? Who's counting? Let's get into it for tonight. We got our dice roller for tonight. Got to be a six or higher, according to the UA Live Break Room Rule. Six or higher. Six or higher. Going to be... Six and a two is an eight. Six and a two is an eight. Let's go ahead and lock in that number eight. So every time we go and run a randomizer for a set of random divisions... Or a top spot wins. Or a duel. It's going to be eight times on the dice roll. Want to appreciate everybody everybody for jumping into the live fills as well. That we've got right posted on the Ultimate Autographs website. UltimateAutographs.com in the U8 Live Breaks tab. Let's get it going. First break of the night is straight cash. Homie number one. We got Danny Smith. We got John Cavanaugh. We got Shane. We got Michael Gravely with three spots. Paul Horick. Ryan McCarthy, what's up, Ryan? Let's get it crack a lacking for break number one. Eight times on the dice roll. If you guys would like to give me a box number, we will get this thing underway. Come on, Donnie, heaven one. My pass full of breaks, hoping that light loaded dice will bring me a hit. That's a good chance. Got three helmets in a loaded dice case. Helmet, headliner in every single case. Really fun break. Those do really well. John Cavanaugh on the bottom. Ryan McCarthy snagged the NFC North. For straight cash, homie. Straight cash, homie. Break number one. Mr. Gravely wants 28. 28. Kyle uh, must have logged off right away. All right, guys. Best of luck, and here we go. My sharpie again. These animals. These animals. Here we go. We got... Straight cash, homie. Full size helmet break number one. A lot of free kills for tonight. Get caught up with those, and we'll start locking and loaded in those live fillers. Schwartz Sports COA for break number one. Going out to the NFC West. We got ourselves a Jack Youngblood Hall of Famer, class of 2001. Two-time NFC Defensive Player of the Year and a seven-time Pro Bowler. An extra inscription on that one. Got yourself three inscriptions if you count Hall of Fame 01, which I would. So you've got a Jack Youngblood Speed Authentic going to Michael Gravely in the NFC West. Let me grab my shirt. It's actually not a speed pro, it's a Rennell Pro line. What's up, Joey? That is a Jack Youngblood for Mr. Gravely. Nice hit, Mike. Good start to the night for you, Mr. Gravely. Oh, Jack Youngblood Pro line. Isaiah 
down to Ali Alejandro Saldivar in that final spot. You guys would like to give me a box number for jersey number one. The box number should be rolling across the bottom of the screen right now. 29, 30, 31, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 39. Nice hit, Mike. Congrats. 6, 7, and 8. Very disappointing to see Cubs Cardinals delayed. Not happy about it. COVID's getting in the way of my Cubbies. Not a fan of it. How you doing? 31. Thirty-one. Joshua Bates calling out the box number. Appreciate it, Josh. Thank you. Here we go. After this, we got our first loaded dice. Full-size helmet break. Best of luck, everybody. Complete NFL break number one. Back in COA, and our hit is... Starting the night off with a banger in the Jersey series. Going to the San Francisco 49ers. One of the best to ever do it. This is Mr. Joe Montana. Joe Montana. Complete NFL Jersey series. Bill DeVore in the NFC West. Beautiful. Beautiful hit right there. Bill, if that's something you'd like framed, hit us up before the end of the break. We'll get you in touch with the Pro Framing Organization. Put that thing in a frame for you. That is a solid, solid headliner hit. Little Joe Montana. That's why we play. Joe Montana. $22 spot. Snags a Joe Montana autograph, authenticated San Francisco 49ers custom jersey. Big time banger right there. Let's go. Good auto too. Clean up the up the side of that one. That's clean. That is a beauty. One of the best to ever do it. All right. Box number 31 was a huge hit. Good start to the night. We saw Jack Youngblood. Jack Youngblood in the pro line to start. Three inscriptions. Joe Montana on the jersey. All right, guys. Game time. Here we go. Loaded dice. Break number one. We got Brian Pittman. We got Lucas Roach, Abe Bulzalski, Adam Miller, Bailey Selinski, Brian Booman, Paul Marnella, and Jared Smiley. Ready to go for loaded dice break number one. We've got boxes one, two, three, and four. I should say cases one, two, three, four, containing three boxes per case, and you are guaranteed a headliner hit. I love, I love saying guaranteed a headliner because... In my honest opinion, headliners are very subjective. Sub, uh, subjective is the word I was looking for. Subjective meaning it may be a headliner to you, but not to somebody else. But then you've got a helmet that's a headliner to you, and it's not considered a headliner for the case. So you could see, you know, two, maybe three headliners, depending on your point of view on that play. <laughs> Bailey Solinsky wants case number four. Let's go get it. Case number four, three, box, banger. Let's get after it. Ten, four, ten. Love the boxes as well as these loaded dice. Got your ultimate autographs dice. Got your cards on the other side. Really cool box. Three, an ace and three queens in the hand. Never a bad hand to have. See what we got for box number one of case number four. Six 
60 boxes in this series, so 20 loaded dice cases. Oh my goodness. We may have just hit big time right here. Guy who never really signs, we got a Fanatic COA. Always a good sign. They represent some huge, huge athletes. And we got a Riddell Amp right off the bat. Matty Ice. Atlanta Falcons Speed Replica on the limited edition Riddell Amp Matt Ryan. Wow, huge hit. Matty Ice. Galen, I know you're loving that one. That's a huge hit right there. Matt Ryan never really signs when he does. Special. That's such a clean auto, too. It looks perfect. Good for you, Bailey. Congrats. Thanks for calling out the box number. Sometimes it works out to your advantage. What's up, gangsta? First box was for Bailey. See that? That is fire. All right, second box. This is a three-box break. Second box. And slash. Joey says, I have one of those. It's a fire helmet. Let's go, Bailey. Let's go. Let's see what our next hit is. JSA, see you Mike Gallagher said he's a good guy, a lot taller than I thought. Does a charity event with us yearly. Well, yeah, not this year. Next hit. Nice. Go to the NFC East. This is Xavier McKinney. Xavier McKinney for the New York Giants. Xavier McKinney, that goes to Adam Miller. Adam Miller with the McKinney rep. Tiny little auto for a guy with a relatively long name. Mackenzie Cassins. Hey, new here. Can't wait to get into some of these. What's up, Mackenzie? Thanks for the message. We hope that we see you in the break shortly. Hopefully, we see you take home a souvenir as well. Xavier McKinney. What's up, Chris? All right, now we got box number three. ice in the first break. Got a lot of stuff posted to the website right now, guys, for some um, for some live fills back at COA. Another good hit right here. You guys might see this as a headline. He's a pro bowler on the defensive side of the ball for a very underrated defense, a very well-coached team in the Pittsburgh Steelers. Mr. Mike Tomlin does a fantastic job with these Steelers, this is Mr. Minka Fitzpatrick. They acquired him in a trade from the Miami Dolphins. Minka Fitzpatrick showed up, moved into a really good situation in Pittsburgh. Him and TJ Watt, pro bowlers. What else do they have? I know that he was definitely a pro bowler. That goes to the AFC North for Abe. Honest Abe. Minka Fitzpatrick on the speed rep. He's a good player. That's why I think that headliners are very subjective. Steelers fans like, ooh, that's, I gotta have that. That's Minka, that's my guy. You know? Whereas they may not. Brando! Hold on a second. yesterday and said they were delivered Wednesday at noon, but I... <laughs> I live in Indiana. I emailed the council at Ultimate Artists yesterday. Okay.
Brandon, hit me with an email, okay? Let's get you figured out. Let's get you figured out. All right, there goes loaded dice case number one. All right, next up we got straight cash. Homie number two, our next platinum helmet break is ready to go. We got Michael Gravely, Paul, Whitney, Brian, Adam, Travis, Roy with the last two spots. Yeah, Brandon, sorry, buddy. I don't know much about the shipping stuff, but I could definitely look into it for you, try to get you an answer. Just send me an email with a little reminder, like, hey, here's what happened, so I don't forget. I will. 7 8. Michael Gravely up to Roy Gutierrez. Let's get it going. Thanks, guys, for another fill. This was a pre fill. Same problem with shipping info, but the items came yesterday. Sweet. Trying to fix you up. Great customer service. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. Yeah, customer service with between Kyle. Kyle does a great job. He was actually in the chat at the beginning. Does a fantastic job uh, interacting and being quick to reply. That's huge in customer service, I think, throughout any company. You want you know quick replies, you want answers. So Kyle does a fantastic job of that. Gotta to, got to tip my hat to him. We got we got uh, straight cash full size, 16, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Sure, I understand that. Appreciate you not being upset. I got the hat line. Oh, yeah. Straight cash, homie. Fill up a couple more boxes here. Gravely. What's up, Aiden? Oh no. Watch this. Disappearing, reappearing box. Oh boy. Boom. <laughs> Alright, hopefully that didn't do anything to the audio, but as before. Sixteen. 16. Guys, let me know if the audio is still coming through correctly. Sometimes that camera just decides to have a mind of its own. Sound good still? Hopefully. Alright, guys, let's go. Box number 16. Box number 16. Ready to go. What's up, Thomas? Alejandro said Kyle was the man. Helped me greatly. Kyle, I'll tell you he's good. Got a good little customer service hanging around here. Love to see it. Love to see you guys are satisfied. I appreciate you guys chiming in and letting me know. See what our second hit is in the platinum helmet break. JSA COA. JSA COA. Whoa, 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 whoa. We got ourselves a full size Riddell Eclipse Authentic Speed Prola. Chad Ocho Cinco. For the AFC North, that's a Cincinnati Bengals. Speed Authentic Eclipse. That's a nasty hit. Let's go, Travis. Nice hit, man. Travis G. With probably one of the... I gotta say that's a headliner. 
When you see an authentic Eclipse, that's a big time hit. That's a beauty right there. Eclipse Pro Line. Congrats, Travis. Good one, brother. Okay, moving right along, we got complete helmet break number one. This just closed. Complete helmet break number one just filled up. So if you guys would like to give me a box number four, the complete helmet series. 29, 30, 33, 34, 35. Oh, no, that's the wrong thing. Complete helmets, 53, 54, 57, 63, 64, 65, 68, and 69. Here's our list, and we're ready to go. What's up, my man? That was a sick hit. I agree with that. Eight times, Kircher on the bottom. Paul Marnella at the top. We got Brad Stifler. Any relation to Steve Stifler? Thomas said, do you know Marge has dishpan hands? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> like Marge Simpson? <laughs> That's the only Marge that I know is Marge Simpson. 69. All right, Chris, thanks for calling out the box number. Here we go. Complete helmet break number one. Jason said, hey, Diane might be winning a Bart Star signed mini helmet soon. If I do, I'll send some pics. That's epic. Bart Starr is one of the most rare autographs in the industry. JSA COA. Very, very rare. And our hit is Miami Dolphin, current tight end. This is Mike Gusecki. I love the Dolphins hit. I mean, just that pearl white helmet. So, so clean. Mike Gusecki in the AFC East going to Chris Morvell. Chris Morvell. Donnie, bring back the full string backpack. They are great too. Took mine to Las Vegas and Myrtle Beach. Man, I love Myrtle Beach. Go to Myrtle Beach like twice a year. Play a lot of golf up down there, I should say. Myrtle Beach is legit, man. I appreciate you wearing that. Backpack around. <laughs> That's amazing. Ultimate autographs spanning the United States. Play a ton of golf, Myrtle Beach. It's a great spot. Deborah's. <laughs> sorry. You'd have to deal with it. Nice say, Chris. Congrats. All right, let's get into jersey number two. Jersey number two. We got Brian down to Jose. I, better, I played True Blue. Caledonia. Kings North is probably my favorite course in the world. If not top, top, top course that I've played. Love Myrtle Beach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, we did run the first helmet, man. Straight homie. That's me. That's me and you, are homies. We did. Jersey number two is up right now. We got Brian, Josh, Grayson, Alejandro, Grayson again. Jose Grayson with a third spot. And Clarence Lambert. Clarence's parents have a real good marriage. Brian, I don't want to spoil it for you. Mm. It's hard to say, like, no, yes. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the results for you. Yeah, they're fun, Brando. Loaded dice are good. Jersey boxes, 29, 30, 33, 34, 35, 36, and 39 for jersey number two.
box number. Random these. Thirty-nine. Thanks, Joey. Just easier to call out the box numbers, I think. This makes everything go a little bit smoother, a little bit quicker. Thanks, Joey. Appreciate it. Josh, appreciate you as well. <laughs> Joey, just be <beat laughs> to it. Here we go, guys. Best of luck. We got some more stuff filling up. Here's our hit. JSA COA and our jersey number two is a second year quarterback out of the University of Ohio State. We got ourselves a Dwayne Haskins Redskins jersey. Dwayne Haskins. I guess not a Redskins anymore, but the football team from Washington. Dwayne Haskins Jr. out of Ohio State. Called him Young Simba. New York Giants passed on him. He was a New York guy, too. That goes to the NFC East for Grayson Wag. Probably going to be the starter. Day one. I say Grayson. for the football team from Washington. Washington Football Association. What's up, Blazing Becker? Mackenzie, good question. How often do Erlacher pop? Uh, Erlacher is one of the more rare signatures, yes. We've definitely seen other bears in, you know, in the abundance before we'll see Erlacher. We've seen a lot of bears, though. We've seen Forte, Briggs, Hampton. Some more well-known bears, but Erlacher's tough. Well, we've seen Erlacher. He does signings. He does do signings. Okay. Next up is Loaded Dice number two. Loaded dice number two. <laughs> yeah, go, go Washington football team. Loaded dice number two, ready to rock and roll, guys. If you want to give me a case number, we will get into it. Guys, good luck. There's our list. We got John Cav, NFC North, Abe in the NFC South, Josh Hess, two spots in the East and the West, Ricky Guerrero, AFC North, Christopher Wells, AFC South, Michael Gallagher, AFC East, and Adam Miller, AFC West. Gallagher falls out two. John Caddy, number two as well, all right? Let's do it. Okay. Case number two. I love them all, but Erlacher is the player that got me passionate about the game, and he's my future ex. <laughs> Beautiful. Future ex-husband. If you are a Chicago native... You see Brian Erlacher every day if you drive on 294. Because he's the head spokesperson for, uh, it's like a hair restoration company. Not sure if you're a Chicago native, but uh, it's a place, it's a hair company called Restore, and he's on all the billboards on the highway. And they have a ton, a ton of billboard space on the highways in Chicago. Beckett COA, Jason Staggs, you were there adding the number to the helmet. Like college. Oh, the Wash the football team from Washington. First hit. Headed out to the AFC West. We got Adam Miller 
Austin Eckler, speed rep. Good PPR running back. Adam Miller. Yeah, exactly, Ricky. On the way to Ohio Airport. He's everywhere, man. He's like every... <laughs> he's like every mile. Like three billboards with his face. <laughs> Mike Gallagher. No watch. No watch that I had. Nice hit from Adam in the Austin Eckler speed rep. Next up is a JSA COA. We got a Houston Oilers full size Riddell rep. That goes to the AFC South. AFC South. Christopher Wells is going to snag that one. Christopher Wells in the AFC South and this AFC South because the Houston Oilers eventually became the Tennessee Titans. Tennessee Titans currently reside in the AFC South, and that is a Warren Moon. Warren Moon. This is going to be the headliner. Third box. Here we go. Loaded dice. Case number two. Best of luck, guys. Fanatic COA. Let's see what our hit is. Oh, yeah, that's a headliner for sure. Let's go. Some rookie ink right there. Jordan Love, quarterback for the Green Bay Packers, drafted this season. Jordan Love, that is a Riddell Eclipse as well. That's John Cav. Nice hit, John. Headliner action. Boom! J Love loves auto. J Hard 10. Can't mistake that auto for anybody else. Jordan Love Eclipse. Full size speed rep. Some brand new ink right there. Michael Gallagher wanted that to at Tiger Valua. Means it's still hanging around, Mike. Yeah, he really does. He really signs a heart. That's Jay Love, man. That's Jay Love. All righty, let's do uh, jersey number three. Jersey number three is up. We got jersey four. We got uh, straight cash homie four. Complete two. Hall of Fame boxes one and two. Let's go into jersey number three. Robert Young down to Verlin. We got a lot of stuff posted on the website, guys. A lot of stuff over on the website. Chris Morvell up to Christopher Wells for complete jersey number three. Let's get a box number going. We got 29, 30, 33, 34, 35, 36. After this, we got straight cash homie break number three.
Pirates. Looks like we got box number 33. Thirty-three. Mike Gallagher, two spots left in loaded dice three. That's good. That'll get filled up, posted. That's the look, guys. So far, we've seen Joe Montana and Dwayne Haskins. Can't argue with those two hits. Starting quarterback and one of the best of all time in two jersey breaks. Back in COA. It is. Going out to the Indianapolis Colts, the 2018 Defensive Player of the Year. That is Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard on the white custom jersey. Good, good player right there for the Colts. AFC South hit for Verlin. AFC South for the Colts. Darius Leonard, the maniac. Middle linebacker for a very promising Colts team. They have the best offensive line in sports. Marlon Mack, Jonathan Taylor, Phillip Rivers, T.Y. Hilton, Paris Campbell on the wide receivers. Defensively, they're pretty good, too. Darius Leonard probably leads that defense. Naheem Hines, also another running back. They've got three pretty good running backs. Darius Leonard, jerk. Jason, hey Don, you follow? I try to. Try to follow the SEC, yes. Sweet. Filling up some more breaks. We got straight cash, homie, number three up. You guys would like to give me a box number for straight cash, homie, number three. Vince Yakum out up to Michael Gravel. What's up, Jason? Who's your team? Arkansas Razorbacks. Let's do it. Let's get a box number going for straight cash homie. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Dr. Flashy Stiff. <laughs> Good username. Who is that though? What's the full name on that account? I love that username. That's good. I only ask because I don't recognize the username, but uh, we usually let the guys in the break select the box numbers. 31 was selected. We get a full name on that account. Dr. Flashy Stiff. See, Jason, I knew it. I remember. We got 33 as well. Thirty-three. I don't, I'm not sure. I just don't recognize the username. I'm going with box thirty-three. 
called by Mr. Gravely. Yeah, Kirch, there sure is another load of dice posted. Dr. Flashy Stiff. I gotta, I gotta learn that username if that's somebody in the break. Apologize if that was somebody in the break. I know sometimes the chat gets a little delayed, but we got Mike Gravely called out 33. Let's run 33. Didn't hear back from that username with the full name on the account, so we'll go to the next one. Back at COA. Back at COA, we got a New York Giants. We got a New York Giants hit. Michael Strahan, one of the best defensive linemen to ever do it. Hall of Fame class of 2014. Who's got it, Michael Gravely? Nice hit, man. Michael G. Hot tonight in the Platinums. Two, five, four, oh. Straight cash, homie. Break number three goes to Mr. Gravely. Michael Strahan, Riddell Pro Line. I said. Looks like we filled up loaded dice number three. Ready, loaded dice number three, ready to rock and roll. Let's get it going. So that quick water. Prepare. Some more prep. Loaded dice number three. Actually, you know what? Let's do. Let's do Hall of Fame number one. First Hall of Fame box we filled up. Let's go ahead and do that one, and then we'll run uh, loaded dice number three. Appreciate it, guys. Like to do Hall of Fame because that was posted earlier. Uh, we did have some spots taken early in the day, so we got some people. Waiting on the pre-fill there. This is Hall of Fame break number one. If you guys would like to give me a box number for the Hall of Fame series. Hall of Fame boxes 8, 16, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Thank you guys for the fill on the Hall of Fame break one. 24 more bell. Thank you. Let's get Hall of Fame number one knocked out. Let's get that going. 24. Kobe. Saw the Phoenix Suns are on fire. No, not sure if you guys follow a little Phoenix Suns basketball, but Devin Booker has been balling. This made me think of it because 24, he just referenced Kobe. Hall of Famers only. Here we go. A lot of breakout guys in the bubble. TJ Warren from the Pacers. Michael Porter Jr. from the Nuggets has been balling. All right, guys, good luck. Hall of Famers only, and we got ourselves. Wide receiver. Dallas Cowboy. -hoo -hoo. Michael Irvin. Michael Irvin. We got the Cowboys. Ryan McCarthy. Ryan McCarthy in the NFC East. Michael Irvin. Nice hit, man. Hall of Fame boxes are no joke either. I know that one took a minute to fill, but there's some good hits in these series. There's some nice, nice hits in these series. Donnie, who's your prediction for hockey winner? 
Ryan, that's probably the sport I know the absolute least about. I was a bandwagon Blackhawks fan in like 2010. I said, told everybody I was a diehard fan, just like everybody else did. But I was not a fan until the playoffs for the Blackhawks, both years. Um, <laughs> like, call myself a Blackhawks fan, I followed that team the closest, but sad to say I'm a fan. Because I don't know a lot about hockey, but I would say the Edmonton Oilers. Edmonton Oilers is my pick for the hockey winner, the Stanley Cup champs. All righty. Loaded dice number three. Bailey calls out case number one. It was cool to be a Hawks fan, though. Like, you wanted to fit in, right? I was definitely band one. Number one. Ryan says, yeah, when Detroit sucked, I watched more basketball. Raptors. Oh, yeah, you are Canada, you're a Canada guy. Hey, Raptors look great, man. They're holding the, the, the offense, holding the opposing team to 98 points a game. And in the NBA these days, that's going to win a lot of games. Kyle Lowry, I think he just got hurt, but Pascal Siakam has been hooping. OG and Anubi. Ballin. That's a good team. So well coached. Such a well coached team. JSA COA. Anuobi. Anuobi. OJ. OG Anuobi is the name. This name's a little bit easier to pronounce. We got a Dallas Cowboy. Riddell Replica. This is Darren Woodson. Going to Vincent. Vincent Y, break number three. Nice hit, Vince. Darren Woodson. Ryan, are you back to being a Red Wings fan now? Are they better this year? Yeah. I think they're a pretty good defensive team. I mean, Ibaka, Gasol, those guys are good defensive players. Honestly, I thought they were the best defensive team. If I wasn't mistaken, I think statistically they were like, if not the best defensive team, but they, it does hurt missing Kawhi. But they got other dudes, man. They, other dudes can play. Kyle Lowry plays hard. 98 points a game in the NBA. You're going to beat a lot of players. You're going to beat a lot of teams. <laughs> they suck bad. <laughs> yeah, that's my knowledge for you. I don't know much. Back at COA for helmet number two. And we're going out to the University of Miami, the U. This is going to be Mr. Vinny Testaverde. Vinny Testaverde. Vinny Testaverde's longest tenure being that this is a college item is Abe B. A B E F. Because he's a New York Jets longest tenure. Nice hit, Abe. Vinny Testaverde, Miami Hurricanes. Shut replica. QB. And now our headliner hit. Pascal, he's so good, man. Pascal Siakam is honestly turned into a very, very good player. Like, top-tier player. I would put him on any team and say he's a starter and a, a big role. I, I love his game. He plays hard. This is helmet number three. He plays really hard. He's a good defender. Shoots well from the mid-range jumper. Ooh, this, is, this feels like a good play. Let's see what our headliner is. Four. Loaded dice number three. It's a big one. It is a banger. 
We got a Beckett COA. And our hit is San Francisco 49th. Jerry Rice. Riddell Eclipse Speed Authentic. This is no joke right here. Case number one. Headliner is big time. We got Eric Phillips. Eric Phillips in the NFC West. Ooh. Nice hit, Eric. Bingo. That's huge right there. Mike Gallagher puts his phone number in the chat yet again. <laughs> Mike, you ever get weird messages when you do that? Or is it strictly business? It's risky business, if you ask me. <laughs> I didn't tell now. <laughs> Probably. All right, guys, next up is jersey number four. Jersey number four. Last we did was 33. Do you have three cell phones? That's called a burner, my friend. That is called a burner. Jersey number four. Boxes rolling across the bottom of the screen. Bailey with 35. 35. All right, guys. Best of luck. <laughs> it's called a pimp. <laughs> I don't think that's the definition of a pimp. But we'll let him believe that. We'll let him believe that. <laughs> What's up, Kobe? <laughs> the meatloaf. The meatloaf. What is she doing in there? Back at COA. Back at COA. Our hit is going out to the NFC North. We got ourselves a current wide receiver. Aaron Rodgers target. This is Mr. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Marquez Valdez Scantling. Whole lot of name for a tiny little autograph, but MVS. MVS. That goes to Jason Staggs. Nice hit, Jason. Always valuable to hit a current Green Bay wide receiver with Aaron Rodgers under center. Always a viable option. Lucas bought two loaded dice. No, it's Huh. Yeah, you mean loves target. Who won Jersey 3? Jersey 3 was Mr. Verlin. Mr. Verlin. All right, next up we got straight cash homie number 4. We got loaded dice number 4 posted, 5 spots left. We've got complete homie number 2, 6 spots remaining. Hall of Fame number 2 has 4 spots left. Uh, if you guys want me to post another straight cash homie jersey, or <laughs> straight cash homie full-size helmet, I should say. Let me know. Mike Gallagher, have a good night, man. We got Roy. We got Johnny. We got Michael, Ryan, Lawrence, Jerry, Scott Snyder. Sweet things, time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Marquez Valdez Scantling, current wide receiver. This is straight cash homie number four. 
box 34. What's up, Larry? Box 34. We're only a couple away from filling up loaded dice number four. Ooh, we got one spot left. Complete two, Hall of Fame two, posted as well. Me and my number two. <laughs> Need to rest for our member guest weekend. <laughs> 34. You're two handicap. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Forgot that you you claim to have a plus two handicap. Straight cash home. Box number 34. Let's see what we got. Beck at COA. Yeah, he needs to step up and claim the number two spot. I agree with that, Brandon. I agree with that. Woo! We got ourselves a world champion. LSU Tigers. Speed Authentic. Justin Jefferson. Justin Jefferson is a wide receiver that went number 22 overall in the 2020 draft to the Minnesota Vikings. That is Roy Gutierrez. Roy Gutierrez, wide receiver. Now catching passes from Kirk Cousins. Went from Joey Burrow to Kirk Cousins. Not a bad deal there. Try to say that three times fast. What's up? Try to say what three times fast. I'm good at those. I genuinely talk fast sometimes. I don't mean it. Justin Jefferson is a really good hit. LSU shut authentic. Bingo. Let's go. Nice hit, Roy. Straight cash number four. Two, five, four, one, seven. Next up is Loaded Dice, number four. Thank you guys for the fill again. Marquez Baldez Scantling. <laughs> it's called an MVS. It's a whole lot easier. All right, Loaded Dice. Number four, we got case number three remaining over there. All right, guys, good luck. Guys, let me know if you'd like us to post another straight cash, homie. Authentic helmet. Kircher up to Chris Morvell. In loaded dice. Number four. Michael Chandler versus Benson Henderson. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, Kobe, got your NFC East looking for those Cowboys. Looking for your Cowboys. I know you're not going to get your Chargers in the NFC East. This is case number three. JSA COA. And we got ourselves a New York Giant. Did he just call out the hit? Jeremy Shock. <laughs> Not Lawrence Taylor, but you did snag a hit in the first box, Kobe. That is Jeremy Shock. <laughs> Loaded dice number four, my man. Nice hit. Two, five, four, five, six. Good tight end. Close. Similar. Very similar players. Lawrence Taylor, Jeremy Shockey. <laughs> I 
We actually just saw the other night, it was a Shockey Eclipse Authentic, and the Eclipse Giant Helmets are sweet. They're very sweet. Second hit. JSA COA. It is Buffalo Bills X running back Thurman Thomas. Thurman Thomas, that's a cool hit. That goes to the AFC East for Chris Wells. Thurman Thomas, speed replica. Kobe, CD, CD Lamb stuff is selling big time right now. He is doing numbers, my man. C.D. Lamb is a huge chase right now. I figure he's a new offensive player on the most popular team in America. Third and final hit in case number four. Here we go. Ooh. Back at COA. I'll tell you what, right now we woke up feeling dangerous. That is headliner. Riddell Amp, Cleveland Browns, quarterback Baker Mayfield. Going to the AFC North for Roy Gutierrez. Roy, that's a huge headliner. Nice hit right there, Roy. That's huge, man. Baker Mayfield, Cleveland Browns, Riddell Amp, Speed Rep. Nasty, limited edition Baker. That's sick, man. University of Oklahoma Heisman Trophy winner. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Baker with some fire. Roy's been on a heater with me, man. Roy cannot miss. Woo -hoo -hoo. Nicely done. All right. All right, we looks like we got another Hall of Fame box with three spots left. Let me see if I can post that link. Let's get that link posted. Fire, Roy. That is fire. Three spots left in Hall of Fame break number two. Let me get that link up for you guys right now. Roy said, Donnie, you and Ultimate Autographs uh, have done me right. Much love. Appreciate it, Roy. Thank you for jumping in, man. All the support for UA, we appreciate you. And uh, congrats on all your success, man. Hey, Donnie, here, do you gotten that hockey might win Stanley Cup? Who do you got that might win? I said earlier, I predicted the Edmonton Oilers. I thought it was kind of a safe guess. But I was talking about it a little bit earlier. I, uh, very out of the loop in terms of hockey. I don't know. I focus a lot on the NBA, MLB, and the NFL. But hockey is something I don't really do a ton of. But uh, I'm going to guess the Edmonton Oilers. I know a couple players. Get into the players a little bit. Connor McDavid. Edmonton Oilers. All right, guys. Put the link for Hall of Fame break number two.
on it. We got uh, three spots left. Let me check on the check what's going on. Some basketball stuff right now, guys. If there's anything else you want me to post, we can post another. Um, we could post another Stray Cash homie break. Oh, what did Tiger do today? Tiger blew up today? No. Jason picked the St. Louis Blues. Spurs beat the Jazz. The Nets beat the Kings. Grizzlies beat the Thunder. A little John Moran action. 76ers beat the Magic by 7. Pelicans are stomping the Wizards. Zion playing? Is Zion Williamson playing? Not even on the roster for tonight. What happened? That guy's so exciting when he plays. Last two games, he had like 24, 22 points. It's unfortunate. Drew Holiday, 23 points. Kobe, of course, he picked the Lightning. <laughs> I don't know why, but you're a Chargers guy, Lightning guy. Rui Hachimura, 19 points. Thomas Bryant, center, 20 points. Hachimura, a good night for him. The Wizards just have nobody in the bubble. No John Wall, no Bradley Beal. They're not going to win any games like that. Still fun to see basketball, though, you know? Roy's in for another straight cash homie. If you guys are in, let me know if we have enough pre-commits to that. We will run it. Otherwise, this may be the last break of the night. We got Paul, Chris Wells with three spots, Stephen Morvell with two spots, and Chris Morvell with the final two spots. Straight homie triple. <laughs> guys are trying to go big, huh? Let me know what you guys want to do. We'll get it posted. Five, six, seven, and eight. Stephen Morvell up to Christopher Wells. Good rhyme. Hall of Fame break number two if you guys would like to give me a box number. Deborah said, Donnie, so sad, another Elway. <laughs> yeah. It's tough. It's tough to see the, the headliners, guys are chasing not in your direction. Hall of Fame box, we got 8, 16, 23. 25, 26, 27, 28. And let me know about another straight cash homie. We can get a post if we see uh, four or five people pre commit in the chat. Did one with Logan. Nah. <laughs> Yeah, Phil. I just like to see a little bit of a pre-commit. It's tough to... I mean, we have break scheduled for tomorrow at 2, tomorrow at 8, Sunday at 2, Sunday at 8. So, I mean, if it doesn't feel it'll carry over. It's kind of hard to tie guys down into a triple box break. Let's get a box number going for Hall of Fame full size number 2. Go ahead and randomize those boxes. Let's randomize those boxes. Six, seven, and eight. Box number 28. Box number 28. Hall of Fame break number two. Could be the last break of the night if we don't see another couple guys in for a straight cash, homie. Yeah, that was a good three box. Got the Michael Vick on that one. There you go. Three box breaks are fun. We once orchestrated a five-box platinum helmet break. Those are fun. All right, guys, good luck. Thank you for another Phil Hall of Fame break. Number two, Schwartz Sports COA. There it is. New York Giants. Riddell. Replica. The greatest to ever do it on the defensive side of the ball. Lawrence Taylor going to the NFC East.
Stephen Morvell with the big hitter. Steven, nicely done, man. That was Hall of Fame number two. That's a huge hit. Solid. LT. LT, Lawrence Taylor. Guys, looks like that may do it. If you guys would like me to post another straight cash, homie, I'll give it a minute or so here. Let me know in the chat who's ever down for another straight cash, homie. We'll get that post and we'll get it going. Yeah, a couple good Giants tonight. Shockey. We got Xavier McKinney a little bit earlier. Steven with a Lawrence Taylor. We got complete two, one spot taken. Guys, if anyone's wondering... There you go, Steven. Thanks, man. I finally won one. There you go. Congrats. If anyone is wondering what happens if we post something and it doesn't fill, uh, it just simply gets carried over to the next break. And above where you see NFC North and Complete Helmet 2, right in between there, there will be a gap created where it says carryover from this date. So 8-7. So tomorrow it will be 8-8. Eight, eight, carryover from 8-7. Complete Helmet break, it will be number 1. So they get carried over and moved up to the first spot. So we do those first. Um, so, Paul, you'll be in Complete Helmet number 1. And uh, I don't see anything for another straight cash, homie. Like I said, I'll give it a minute or so. If you guys are in, let me know in the chat. All right. I think that's going to do it. Guys, we have breaks posted for Saturday afternoons as well. We've got breaks posted for Saturday night, so um, join us again tomorrow afternoon, 2 p.m. breaks. I'll be back here in the studio at 2 p.m. Bring you guys some more UA Live breaks. Excited to be back in here. We're going to have some more loaded dice. We'll have some more platinum helmets and the Hall of Fame helmets, complete NFL and complete NFL jersey. Saturday, 2 p.m. Roy, be there. Be square. It's on the schedule. I'll be there. Uh, hopefully you guys are there too. We look forward to seeing you guys then. We'll get some more breaks rolling for tomorrow afternoon, and then we go into the Saturday night breaks at 8 p.m. So a whole lot of UA Live breaks coming up for this weekend. I'm excited to be back tomorrow at 2 p.m. Guys, join me then. Until now, I'm going to sign off. You guys stay healthy. We'll see you guys.